he's a joke because he, every time I look, he's talking about, you know, performance enhancements and instead of talking about, you know, trying to figure out a way to make sure football is played in August. The thoughts of wide receiver for the Ravens, Derek Mason. He is the definition of an NFL workhorse. In 14 seasons, he has missed only six regular season games while also racking up more than 11,000 yards receiving 66 touchdowns. The veteran, of course, not afraid to mix it up with a little John on or off the field. The latter making the most recent headlines involving the NFL commissioner. And with that, let's go ahead and welcome in Derek to the first take set. Can't help but notice your T-shirt, <laughs> pound sign, a joke. A joke is what you referred to the commissioner on radio the other day. I take it you're standing behind those remarks? Yeah, and, you know, I'm, I'm having fun with the T-shirt. But, okay. you know, in all actuality, uh, I'm not saying a guy is a joke in the sense of he don't know what he's doing. Um, you know, he's a very bright guy. Um, obviously, if he wasn't, they wouldn't have hired him as commissioner. Mm -hmm. But I just think in the midst of what's going on, and I know you can multitask, but I just think in the midst of what's going on, to try to make that your platform. Um, you know, let's try to get both sides back to the table first. And then we're worried about the drug test because if there's no football, there's no drug test. So let's try to get back to playing football. So you were focused in on the drug testing aspect of it. This isn't the Olympics, you said. Type it's of that, I mean, yeah, I'm all for drug testing, believe me. Um, you know, I don't want anyone to have an advantage over me. Right. And I don't want anyone to have an advantage over, you know, my teammates. So I'm all for it. But, you know, right now, let's concentrate on trying to get both sides back to the table and working out a deal. Well, you've been in that scenario before as a former player rep that goes back to 2003 you've been in those rooms where it's the players versus the owners take us inside what is it going to take to get a deal done and end this lockout I think it's going to take just you know putting your egos to the side and, and, and trying to figure out what's best for the game and not what's best for both parties um, you got to understand the players are going to be fine at this all said and done the owners are going to be fine definitely they're going to be fine it's the people in the middle that 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 rely on that paycheck on a Sunday um, or on a Monday, they got to work at the stadium. Those are the people that are going to be affected as we continue to go on. So let's kind of put everything else aside and worry about the people that, that are not getting, you know, the huge paychecks. Because if we worry about those, then we can work out how to do. 299 days away from Super Bowl 46. Yeah, <laughs> we have a great research department here. Here's the scenario. Do you think there will be any games missed? I don't think, honestly, my honest opinion, I don't think there will be any games missed. But I think the longer uh, we go, uh, the harder it's going to get to try to get a deal done. Uh, you know, I think the judge did a smart thing at, at, you know, making sure that, you know, we get back into a room and try to work out a deal. She don't want to be the bad person. She don't want to come down with a decision. Ultimately, if it doesn't get done, she has to. And she, somebody's going to, you know, not like what she says. But, you know, she made sure that, you know, you guys go back to the table. You guys figure it out because I don't want to be the, the one to have to figure this thing out because if I do, then somebody's going to be upset. Well, a lot of your teammates are taking up interesting hobbies, <laughs> shall we say, during the lockout. Your teammate Tom Zabkowski, boxing. We yes. had Ray Lewis on yesterday. He said he's not going to do the whole pugilist thing. Are you going to lace up the gloves? No, no, I can't box. <laughs> I hadn't had a fight in, in Lord knows when. All right, all right. I'll... I can't box, um, but, you know, uh, shouts out to Big, uh, Zibby. Yeah. Uh, he's doing a great job. He's, he's becoming like the, the old Mike Tyson fighting every week. Um, so, but he enjoys boxing. You even saw that when we were playing. He enjoyed, he really enjoys the sport of boxing. So, you know, hopefully it continue to flourish in that, in that aspect. Indianapolis getting set to host its first Super Bowl. You haven't been to the Super Bowl with your Ravens. Playoff trips in the last three seasons, but you're coming up just short. AFC Championship game is in your sights. It's within your grasp. What's going to take for the Ravens to get there? Um, just can play consistent football in the playoffs. I think, um, you know, in the first round of each playoff, we've played excellent football. And then the next round, we kind of faltered. Um, you know, against Pittsburgh, three plays pretty much did us in, um, and we allowed them to get back in the game. So if we can minimize our mistakes, um, I think there's no team uh, from top to bottom that are, that, that's better than our team. With the experience we have, the young quarterback we have in Joe, who's doing a fantastic job, the running back that we have, Ray Rice, uh, you know, the defense that we've always had, you know, with, with Ed Reed and Ray Lewis anchoring and, and Haloti Nada, um, I, I think we, from top to bottom, we are the best team. Uh, but what we got to do is once we get in the playoff, if you're the best team, it doesn't matter. If you don't go out there and capitalize on, on opportunities, you're going to lose. And that's what happened to us against Pittsburgh. Well, here's the deal. When you came out of retirement 2009, you said you still had the fire inside. 
Yes. Do you still have the fire? Oh, what level it. is the fire at? <laughs> it's is it on a slow burn? <laughs> big blue flames? Where are we at? No, it's, it's high. Okay. Uh, I, I enjoy playing the game of football. I enjoy the competitive um, aspect of football. Um, so, you know, whether this is my last year or not, uh, I think even when I do retire, I will still enjoy that part about football. The other stuff I can kind of get away from, but that sure competitiveness against another person, I, I could really appreciate that part. But the flame is still, I mean, the fire is still hot. Okay. It's still going. All right, just had to gauge where you were at. <laughs> he is a two-time Pro Bowl wide receiver, and I know fantasy football guys are very excited that you are going to be back for a 15th season in the NFL. That's a long time. Uh-huh. <laughs> Player knows. All right. Thanks so much, Derek. Really uh, no appreciate problem. it. With that, we're getting set for our number two of First Take. Do stick and